Water parks are tremendously popular on hot summer days. These water parks come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are incredibly well themed, others focus more on the water slides, and then there are a few elite ones that combine both. Over the years, I have been fortunate enough to have visited 41 different water parks in North America and the United Arab Emirates. In this video, I will rank my top 15 favorite water parks I have personally visited. In general, I'm more of an amusement park fan than a water park fan, but I still make it a point to visit water parks if I pass them in my travels, especially if they're a larger one or home to a water coaster. And before starting, I want to note some of the major water parks I have yet to visit in North America that had the potential to make this list. These are all parks I hope to visit one day. First, I haven't been to any of the Schlitterbahn parks. I also have not been to any of the Kalahari resorts except the Round Rock, Texas one. I also haven't been to the new Soaky Mountain Water Park in Sevierville, Tennessee. And despite it being near me, I also have not been to Splish Splash in Long Island, New York. I also haven't been to Volcano Bay in Orlando, Florida, or Water Country USA in Williamsburg, Virginia. Last but not least, I have not been to Waterworld in Denver, Colorado. So let's get to the list. Number 15. Splashwater Kingdom, the affiliated water park with Great Escape in Lake George, New York. In all honesty, I prefer this water park to the ride park at the Six Flags. Splashwater Kingdom has a bizarre layout wedged between Comet and the rest of the ride park. But the slide lineup is quite strong. There aren't any unique slides, but the slide lineup has some of the better slides for each genre, such as the steep drop pod slide, decent mat racers and body slides, a bowl slide with a steep drop, a tornado funnel slide, and a mix of tube slides, plus lines are rarely an issue here. Number 14, Hurricane Bay, the affiliated water park with Kentucky Kingdom in Louisville, Kentucky. Like Grey Escape's water park, Kentucky Kingdom's water park is in a really awkward location in the middle of the ride park. But the water park looks fresh with several newer slides. And the reason this water park makes the list are for the two signature rides, Deep Water Dive, a massive 121 foot tall or 39 meter tall drop pod water slide, and Deluge, a hydromagnetic water coaster with some good airtime, although the latter has a lot of downtime. Number 13, Kalahari in Round Rock, Texas. Opening in late 2020, the newest Kalahari indoor water park has a very deep collection of slides. I have a separate review going into more detail on this park, but you have a mix of intense body slides, such as bowl slides and speed slides, and then you have a wide range of raft slides and tube slides with all sorts of special features, like funnels, bowls, and saucer turns. Plus, the fact this water park is indoors and climate controlled really helps ensure its ideal water park weather every single day. Number 12, Whale's Tail in Lincoln, New Hampshire. This is my favorite water park in New England. While it's not as large as Water Country, the slide lineup has more quality. It's highlighted by Poseidon's Voyage, an intense drop pod slide, several older body slides that ride ridiculously fast, the Bonsai Pipeline half pipe slide that'll give you some airtime and the Eye of the Storm Body Bowl Slide. And I love the employees at this park. They're super friendly, and honestly, sometimes crazy. They will do everything to make your day better. One of the ones working the drop pod slide realized I had ridden it a lot during the day and wanted to make it more exciting for me. So he started pounding on the door of the drop pod to muffle the countdown. I was not expecting that. Number 11, Aquatica, the affiliated water park with SeaWorld Orlando in Florida. This is one of the best landscaped water parks in the world, which is not a surprise considering it's owned by SeaWorld. And you also have the Dolphin's Plunge ride that includes a journey through a dolphin tank. But the star for me is Ehu's Breakaway Falls, a series of intense body slides that are some of the wildest out there. These slides took my breath away with their intensity. You then have several tube slides that are better suited for the family. Number 10, Typhoon Lagoon, one of two water parks at Walt Disney World in Florida. This park's appearance is top-notch, and it feels like a tropical resort in the middle of a jungle. A lot of slides are on the older side and not overly extreme, but there are two exceptions. First, Humunga Calabunga has a wallop of a drop, but it's a bit rough on your back so be careful. And then Crush and Gusher is the best ride there, an airtime-filled water coaster offering three separate slides. Number 9. Blizzard Beach, 
the second water park at Walt Disney World. I believe this would have been the best water park in the world when it opened. However, the park has been stagnant since then, not adding anything new. Thankfully, what the park has is great. The snow-covered mountain is iconic, and the slide lineup is dominated by Summit Plummet, one of the tallest and most visually stunning water slides in the world. The rest of the offerings are decent, but the appearance and star attraction carry this park. If you're interested in more details, I have a separate review for this park. Number 8. Wild Wadi in Dubai This park doesn't have as many water slides as the others on this list, but that's okay when you have two of the world's longest water slides. Flood River Flyer and Whitewater Wadi are two water coasters that are each almost 5 minutes in length. Yes, you heard that right, they're almost 5 minutes long. You also have one of the tallest body slides in the world in Jumeirah Rascara and some solid tube slides. And this is all in a gorgeous park that's definitely one of the best looking water parks in the world. Number 7, Noah's Ark in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. The sheer size of the water slide lineup at this park is mind blowing. Advertised as the biggest water park in America, this park has over 50 slides and attractions. You have some fantastic half-pipe slides, including the stunning Raja. You have some thrilling speed slides. And of course, you have a water coaster in Black Anaconda that is among the longest out there. The park does have a fatal flaw though. It gets packed. The crowds were such an issue that I was barely able to ride anything beyond the top attractions at this park. If crowds weren't an issue, it would have probably made the top 5, if not top 3. Number 6, Dollywood Splash Country in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. A rare, heavily shaded water park among the trees, Splash Country is a really relaxing and aesthetically pleasing park. The slide lineup has a mix of older and newer slides, with the star being River Rush, one of the best water coasters in the world. It may be short, but has arguably the best airtime of any water slide. Number 5. World Water Park in the West Edmonton Mall in Canada. As with the aforementioned Kalahari, the indoor environment definitely helps. I love heated water. And you have the impressive tower with all sorts of body and tube slides, many of which are extremely tall for their respective genres. The star for me is Cyclone in Aqua Loop with a thrilling freefall drop and an overbank turn. But I also really like Tropical Typhoon, a body bowl slide, and slide boarding which is a rare hybrid water slide and video game where you have to time hitting a button on the board. Number 4, Splash and Safari, the affiliated water park with Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. One of the weirdest things about this water park is that it has zero body slides. Instead, it goes heavy on slides that people can experience together. And they're most well known for three water coasters. Wildebeest and Mammoth are two of the best in the world with their long layouts and surprising airtime. And then Cheetah Chase is the newest water coaster, and it's a unique racing one that will have you laughing with how wet you get. Number 3. Yas Water World in Abu Dhabi One of the most visually impressive water parks in the world, Yas Water World has an iconic mountain in the center of the park from which most of the slides radiate. It sort of reminds me of Blizzard Beach in that regard. You have a fantastic water coaster in Falcon's Village, several great speed slides, some decent tube slides, and most uniquely, a roller coaster, an actual roller coaster in Bandit Bomber. This inverted coaster feels akin to Pepsi Orange Streak in that it gives a scenic tour of the park, winding above water slides and through the mountain. Number 2. DreamWorks Water Park in the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. This indoor water park blew me away. As with the other indoor water parks, the climate controlled environment definitely helps. It's not as well themed as you'd expect based on the name but has a very strong lineup. Toothless's Trickling Torpedo is a super long water coaster and the best water slide I've ridden. Thrilligascar and Jungle Jammer are the second tallest water slides in the world at 142 feet tall or 43 meters tall. And they're just two of the four drop slides that this park has. And then you have a deep mix of tube slides as well. This is another one that I have a more in-depth review for if you're interested. And coming in at number one is Atlantis Aqua Venture in Dubai. This park claimed the top spot and it was not even close. This is easily the best water park I have ever visited and this is another one I have a separate review for going into more detail. But it excels in every area. It's breathtakingly beautiful with a tropical vibe mixed with theming. You have super friendly employees and you have an elite slide lineup with four water coasters including one of the wildest in the world in Storm. And then you also have some intense body slides 
most notably the iconic Leap of Faith speed slide off the temple. And you even have a tube slide that passes through a shark tank. I could spend all day at this water park, and there aren't many water parks I could say that about. So those are my top 15 favorite water parks in the world. Have you been to any of these parks? What are your favorite water parks? I would love to hear down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you gave it a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and Muse Park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.